Alright, what's going on? My name is Liam Buck and you are tuning in to what is a movie commentary. So, my name is Liam Buck, I'm a music artist. So I got an EP out, my debut EP, and with that I made a short film music video. You'll see it in the in this following video. And uh, it was to accompany the EP, and basically what I thought I'd do is do a little commentary of the film and just talk about little stories or any things that come up whilst I'm watching it and give you a little bit of background on the film. If you want to watch the film in full without my voice talking over it, I'll put it in the link below. So if you want to check that out, please do. Uh, let me know what you think. I really appreciate any feedback and leave a like and a comment. And I feel like a basic YouTuber right now, but um, it does mean a lot though, because when you subscribe or interact with a video, it tells YouTube this video is doing well and it pushes out to more people and it helps your boy reach more people so I'm going to stop rambling now and getting straight into the video the film's called Midnight to Midnight it has a storyline but it's more of like a metaphorical kind of concept so there's a lot of like poems and like talking and stuff like that I'm just going to get straight into it I hope you enjoy without further ado here we go alright boom okay so this so we shot this so I live I live on the Isle of Wight and that's where we shot this which is like the, the speck at the bottom of England um <clears throat> And we shot this in like, I think it was winter. So I had to like go out and the it was like freezing cold. Um, and this is at Freshwater Bay. So I had to like go out of there, um, <laughs> just with like my jeans on. And um, one of the guys that's filming it, Charlie, he has to just go out in his boxes. And I was like, I had to bring a change of clothes. And then um, it was like very awkward if anyone would have been watching it. But, um, but yeah, we did it. Looks like a, I don't even know what it looks like, but there he goes. But yeah, so that was fun. Oh yeah, so the film is called Midnight to Midnight. A uh, bit background behind the concept. So the actual story um, follows like 12am to 12am. So it's like 24 hours. So it looks like I am with one girl in like the, the day here and then the next day I'm with someone else. But it's not literal. Um, it's a long period of time represented by 24 hours. So that was the concept of it. So this is my amazing friend, Becky. So this is actually how I met her. Um, so when I started doing a film, um, I needed to like find people to act in it. Uh, I wanted to be in it myself. And then, um, so there's two, but there's a few, there's a few cast, like just like friends and stuff I got to be in it. Um, but yeah, so this character that I'm playing basically represents my past self. Um, and then, yeah, so uh, Becky, she's actually a ballet dancer. Amazing. Um, and I asked her, well I knew of her from, uh, from high school uh, and then semester her and she was up for it so I was met like, it's amazing with this film and stuff like doing my art, like I get to meet new people um, which is just like a blessing like when you do something you love like you open yourself to better opportunities so basically I met her for that and I was an amazing friend um, and then also I met Glasshouse so like amazing creatives um, and it's kind of like the people I wanted to meet all along before like sort of getting into music and stuff. So, I just love music. Uh, so this song is called Smoke and Ash. This is the first one from the EP, the first one I released. Um, and yeah, so this, the line in it, sitting on a bench by the sea at midnight, that's where the film title came from, Midnight to Midnight. Um, so it's just, ba the whole film's kind of based around at one point. It was like a turning point in my life, I guess. I won't get into details, but it was like a, you know, you have a turning point in your life and you, after, it feels like everything's, your new life starts after that. So it kind of, it was about that sort of situation. <clears throat> and it was nice to kind of like pay homage to it in the film and in my music and that. Because um, a lot of people, I think when you don't do music, like you have all these big events yourself, but they're just known by you. So it's really nice in music to kind of be able to almost give it life or give it homage, if that makes sense. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, so basically, if you, if you want to like be surprised by the film, go and watch it, but I'm going to explain it as we go. So this guy, so this is Matt Reed of The Optimist. I'll tag um, The Optimist uh, Instagram below. Um, so I just needed a stunt double. So basically, the one in the, I feel like I'm going to say basically, I'm not in this video. Um, so Matt is playing my new self, which is, well, I'll, I'll wait for it to reveal in a second. There's no way out. There's no way out for my old self. He's stuck. He has to change. There he goes. Wabow! He gets shanked in the back. So you get, you get, basically, I got killed. 
didn't want to use guns. <laughs> um, I didn't want to show any stabbing because a bit violent and all that. But um, basically it was my new self, killing my old self, and then becoming the person I am today. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that was Matt Reed, uh, so I needed like a stunt double um, just to like play that character. Um, so big up to him. He's in the back of The Optimist, they're amazing, so please go check them out. Yeah, so this was like, um, basically what I wanted to do in these like, so you have a song then an interlude and a song and an interlude. It's kind of like this format of like short film I want to do moving forward. Um, so it's nice to kind of like give a little bit of context to the characters and like the situations that are going on in the film. So this kind of like, this letter is from, um, from me. For, like, for my character and it kind of um so it's from my new self saying thank you to um the person and also the situation saying thank you because it was what i needed to kind of evolve and grow um so that's what this is i wrote the letter like the words but big up to becky for actually handwriting it because my handwriting no one wants to see that this is funny actually um, <laughs> when she recorded the voiceover so she had to go so this was like a cabin in um uh, Reuben sees so the other videographer in his garden, and she she had to she had to um, have a microphone and sit under a duvet in the cabin. We don't want to like embarrass us to be like we're outside, but um, yeah, she had to like it's kind of like a funny picture just someone sat under a duvet, kind of recording a voice. So excited to do it later in the film, and like Charlie was there, so he actually filmed me doing it. I was like under this like sheet, um, just saying like really like not deep stuff, but like a poem. <laughs> It's just so random. Yeah, that's funny. So this is actually the bench that song was written about. Um, so, yes, this is the sitting on the bench where I sit at midnight. This is the bench um, where like, kind of, a lot of things sort of changed for me, just like mentally and perspectives and stuff. Because um, like, it's nice, it's kind of nice when you have like a location where a good change happens. Oftentimes it's when like something bad happens to you, but it's nice when you have a location where something, a like, growth happens, because then I walk past it often because it's near where I live, like in Ride. Um, so it's nice to kind of see it and be like, thank you, sort of thing. It's nice to have those kind of like locations in your life. But yeah, it's also on, the, on my skateboard, um, which the amazing Angie painted. I'll tag her Instagram below as well. She's an artist. Um, so I wanted like a, a prop, I guess, which I could put the film into. If that makes sense. So this skateboard here. So Angie painted that. It's, it's incredible. And it's like, so basically sitting on a bench by sitting midnight, so it shows the bench. I got it over there, it's got like, the bench, the moon behind it, and the waves, it's, I was blown away by what she did. Um, but yeah, and this artwork on the post is done by a guy called Connor Baldock, he's an amazing uh, graphic designer, so I'll tag his Instagram as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just nice to be able to collaborate with like other artists, like outside of music as well, um, in music, and you like, and that. So this is the other actress, she's called Anna Bamba, um, so she was a friend of uh, Glasshouse Productions, so that people that the two videographers that made the film. Um, so she was like friends with them, so she, um, they got her to do the other role. As it was someone like we knew, so it made it a lot more sort of easier to film. Cause it's a little bit awkward to meet, I don't know, I've never really done acting before, so it's a bit awkward meeting people for the first time and then having to act like you know them, I guess. It's that Black Sheep, Black Sheep Bar Venue on the other way. Um, so it's got like an underground basement, which like I've always loved um, doing gigs on the island. Um, so we call it the island, the other way. Um, yeah, so it's nice to kind of do a little scene in there. So I always just put on the gigs there and stuff. Uh, yeah, so Glasshouse Productions, so they're the two guys that helped make, that made the film, basically. Um, the, I have, like, the deepest respect for them, because they were, like, the first people I met where it was, like, these passionate creatives who love what they're doing, I can collaborate with, and they're doing it for the art. Um, yeah, so it's amazing to meet them and work with them. <coughs> um, so I'll tag them below. Uh, they're, they're not Glasshouse anymore, but they got uh, Ruben Mole, he's an independent videographer. Um, and also Charlie Fenimore, he's, uh, he's got um, this brand called Love Shack Sound, which is like a drum and bass platform, so I'll tag that below. Also, Big Up, I got this symmetrical for anyone with OCD. That's, that's a symmetrical, I could get it, so I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> I've broken that phone since. Honey, because the next song's called Honey. <laughs> wow! Yeah, so basically, um, her character and Anna's character is called Honey. So it's like, because it's linked to the person that the song Honey was about. So it's just kind of like a way of, I don't want to put names in. Um, so I put them like, um, different, I didn't put like actual names, I put in um, something like Honey, and then yeah, 
Becky's character is called Bo, um, so it's like a personal sort of thing, I guess. Yeah, so they're both actually ballet dancers. Um, so I have like such respect for ballet because it's like a you don't really, like obviously it's such a delicate art form, but you kind of so I think a lot of people underestimate the amount of like just con like control and like um, like physical control you need to do it. Like it's yeah, I have the utmost respect for it. So it was nice to put that in the film in some way as well. Yes, yeah, so this song actually a little bit of background of the song. Um, so I wanted to put a piano ballad in the EP. It's like the first one I've written, but I don't play piano, so I was like, how do I do it? And I basically on, I have like a um, music software and it had the ability just to like tap chords in, so you could just tap the chords. Um, and so I just picked a key, I think it was, um, I can't remember, um, but <laughs> I just tapped in the chords and then um, made the chord progression and made like the, it's like three in the song, I think, first pre chorus and chorus. And then um, I would just, uh, on the way to uni or stuff, like in a, on the bus or like, or just at home, or whatever. I would um, like where I couldn't sing, so I was like, in public. I would tap in the piano melody and make the vocal melody like on the keys, and then um, eventually sat on one, and then eventually start putting lyrics to it, and then sang it, and then that's how I made the song. So yeah, I didn't I didn't play the piano on the actual record. There was a guy called Seb Wedge because. Um, I don't play keys. Well, I kind of do. I can only play in the key of C because that's all the white keys, but I'll do it someday. A hey, funny thing um, for anyone who's not done uh, music videos before. So when you get to see these videos where it's like slow-mo, um, basically the way you do it is like the opposite. So you have to, have to get an app and put a song in and speed up, like double the speed. So it's like, honey, I feel so much in your name. It was like that. And um, so I had to sing along to that. Whilst looking not like I am not like looking fast, I just like kind of act slow, like, move, like moving about, <laughs> moving about, um, and then um, and then it really slowed down. But I think I messed up lyrics a few times. There might even be like a, I might have even messed up one of the lyrics in here actually. To be fair, I can't remember, but it was kind of difficult to get hang of. I think I did like three or four times, and then cars came down the road as well. It's, it's quite a lot of work goes into it. I look so, <laughs> look so just pale. <laughs> oh, it's no facial hair. I look like a custard cream. <laughs> 19, yes, so, so I'd have been 19 here, um, so I'm 21 now. Um, when did we do it? So, we're in September. I think I did it. I think March 2018 was when I met with Glasshouse and told him like the idea and then we started filming in like that summer <laughs> and we filmed like over quite a, quite a long time but um, and I did procrastinate on release but it's out now and being like consistent with the releases so it's all good. Yeah but it's really easy, it was kind of like I spent like loads of time just like writing like kind of uh, it's kind of like just for this project I kind of just wanted to put a load of like perspectives I have and like that I've gained over the years um, so it was nice to have these like, interludes to kind of do them and like show the characters' progression as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so this one was kind of like um, it shows my main perspective, which is my main one of my main sort of like things I live by, which is perspective doesn't come from age; it comes from no wait, no suit, which is wisdom it doesn't come from age; it comes from perspective, and perspective can be gained at any moment at any age. So to be wise or to be intelligent, you don't have to be like eight years old, and you don't, it's not. If you're like 80 years old, doesn't mean you know more than like a 10 year old. Like there's as much, there's as much to learn from a child as there is from like an adult. Um, and it's all about perspective, and you can gain that from like imagine you're on your deathbed and then doing what you do differently. You can learn so much from that, like little things like that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. So this um, in this scene, uh, so this is called Military Road on the Isle of Wight. It's in like the west, the west side. Um, so to film, to film this, we um, it's down this road. It's actually quite. It didn't look that steep, but when you start going down it, it gets really fast. And um, I started getting like speed wobbles on the skateboard, and basically I stacked it. Um, I yeah, so I started like it's not in the film, obviously, but I'll try and find the clip of it. But basically, I, I was um, skating, and then I um, it just started going. I went to put I went put down foot down to push, and I just stacked it. I don't really skate that much, but I want to use a film to kind of like push myself um, but yeah I felt and then like I felt right on my side and actually bounced you'll see it in the clip um, and then um, I woke up next morning and 
I was like, oh, like, was that, was that like bruise from? <laughs> I couldn't think of it. And then um, the in the next couple of days, uh, Glass has put a vlog up, and I saw it, and I was like, there we go. Yeah, so this is probably like my favourite song off the EP. Um, just it's kind of like the pop kind of vibe I wanted to do going forward. Like it's more, like, it's like the last song I wrote, um, and it's more in line with like what I want to do going forward. So like, my next EP will be a lot more along this vein, but like, even more sort of like kind of pop sort of sound, but still with like the integrity and like the lyric lyrics and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> Straight out of Compton. It's actually Compton Bay. Compton Bay. Yeah, the beach was so. A little bit of an easter egg. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Yeah, so basically in this part I was kind of like, um, it was that thing like I become like my true self and I didn't need um, the character Honey, like I didn't need sort of that, I didn't need sort of love, you know what I mean, like I was happy on my own, but it's kind of like, I felt that connection and then that's why her character then fills out and then comes back and it's like a, a nice sort of like ending to the film. Um, yeah, and like Van Time was like kind of like, it's meant to like upbeat and kind of like a love song, it's like, so like completely my own, but now I'm like kind of ready for that. And that's why then this last scene happens. Just like the last scene we shot was us meeting together on the bridge, I think. Yeah. I know it's like Here we go. Pulling you deeper and deeper into the place <clears> any darkness. Yeah, so that was like me seeing like what I said earlier, like it's nice to see these places which we experienced growth and then like I saw my old self and I was like, thank you. And now I've like, moved on to my new life. Um, so show that kind of like growth as a nice sort of like homage to pay. Something so beautiful that the name does not even do it justice. Perspective ever I Yeah, so it's like me sort of like saying like perspective is like one of like my main sort of um, things I live by, like gaining perspective on things. Like if you're going through something, try and have a different perspective on it or try and like think how you can see it differently. Because there's so much sort of like be learned from that and it saves you a lot of like pain and Heartbreak, I guess. Hours. Never underestimate a person's ability to grow. Wisdom is not determined by age, but by perspective. Yeah, so basically that was like me seeing like my life flash before my eyes, and then kind of like become a new self. I was out of the water then, and then I was reborn. But yeah, that's that's a wrap, guys. Yeah, so basically that's it. Thank, yeah, thank you to like Glasshouse Productions. They were um, people that made it possible. Yeah, like these were the people that were in the film. All like the the extras. Yeah, it's it nice because like Charlie and Ruben are actually in it in certain places. If you can spot them. Yeah, so basically like Glasshouse Productions, they're absolute angels. Like they helped me create this. It was like my first sort of release into the world. So it's like a beautiful way to start that, and it's something I'll always be proud of. So I'll always be grateful to them. And please go and check them out. Please go and support them. If you need any videos, if you do drum bass, if you want some graphics made. Go to them, they are the guys. I'll link them below. And also, the one and only Mr. Hungry Hound Productions, Stuart Heath, the producer that recorded the um, EP with. So, all the songs you hear, I'll tag his website. Yeah, he was the one that I recorded the songs with, and it's like my first proper release. When I recorded with him, it was finally like this, this piece of work which I was proud of, and then combined with like the Glasshouse film, it just made this like first body of work. So, it was nice for it to all be tied together. But yeah, so that's the first film. I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you liked it. Yeah, so the plan is to basically make, like, my thing as an artist is I want to, like, do a short film with each, like, release, each EP, and then eventually get to the point, like, when I start doing albums, do, like, actual feature film, and have the music more as, like, the soundtrack, rather than, like, the actual, actual, like, a music video. So that's the plan. The next film I'll be working on soon, just depends on, like, filming times and stuff, but I'll always keep you posted, so follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and all that jazz, I'll keep you posted. And um, I hope you look forward to it. So if you like the film, uh, please go and check it out. Link below. I'll link the full film so you can go and watch it uh, without me talking over the whole thing. And I hope you like to get a bit more insight. If you want more videos like this about like songs or any other piece of work i got, give me a shout. Either way, hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. Stay true to yourself. And uh, yeah, if you're going through something, try and let's see how you can get a different perspective. If it's from a mate or um, picture yourself in 10 years from now, like how would you do this situation differently or try and think how would someone else act in this situation. Perspective is invaluable, so. Lots of love. I'm going to go now. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff.